What's up YouTube? I uh, just wanted to make a quick video on how to save your LiPo battery if you ran it too low. Um, this one has not been ran too low, but I just want to kind of give you guys an understanding of what you can do. Now this isn't recommended, this isn't safe, uh, just a disclaimer. I definitely use a LiPo bag, but the main thing you need to hear me on is do not walk away from it. Most of us are ADD and we get doing something else and we forgot we were messing around with something in the garage. So hear me again, do not walk away from it. You'll see all these LiPo bags here. I got those because I walked away from one of these and I caught a little 2S on fire and shot a flame up this big and did about $250 worth of damage in batteries. So again, if you know what you're doing and you're smart about it, you can save one of these things. But if you're like me and you're ADD, don't walk away from it. That's the main thing you need to know. So let's say you run one too low, you go to plug it in and charge it. You can't get it to come back. The tracks this easy peaks like, no, I'm not charging it. Your other chargers are like, no, I'm not charging it. The voltage is too low. You know, it says low cell voltage. So the best thing to do is to catch this right away. So what I do when I run my cars, first thing I do is I put this in my pocket. And when I hit low voltage cutoff or when I'm done using it, I'll go ahead and take this. Uh, you can get these on Amazon for about 10 bucks, or you can get some real generic ones for like three or four dollars. But essentially what this does is it's gonna tell you your voltage per cell. So you go ahead and plug this in. And it's gonna say how much overall it has. So it has seven volts overall. The first cell has 355, the second cell has 356. So watch again, first cell, 355 second cell 356 so what you want to do that you can actually set when this thing tells you it's getting low so i think mine's set at 3.3 but if you let this go under 3.00 per cell and you leave it that way the battery will actually start to degrade and a lot of times chargers won't charge it so let's say you've got one of those cells, you know, down under 3.3 or down under 3.0 and you catch it right away. You could go try to plug it in, but a lot of times the chargers are going to tell you, no, it's too low. We're not going to charge it. So here's the bypass. This is how you get away with bringing it. What you're going to do is you're going to bring the voltage back up and you're going to do it real quick. And, uh, you know, then, uh, then you'll be able to charge again. So what you would do is you gotta kinda trick the system. Let me plug this thing back in. Sorry, my fan makes so much noise, but you're gonna go ahead and plug this in the right way, not like that. You're gonna go ahead and plug that in, and let me just pull this in for you so you can see what I'm doing. So you're gonna hold these like you're doing a charge, and then you're gonna see this blinking back and forth because the balance plug's not in, it's not gonna light up anything up here. And you're going to push the NIM button real quick and get it down into the red. And then I'll usually jump it up to two amps. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come in, you're going to hold this. As soon as I hold this, my charger's going to come on and the fan's going to make a bunch of noise. But what we're doing is we're just throwing voltage at the battery. It's going to bring both cells up as you're doing it. And you're going to do this for about five minutes and you're not going to walk away from it. Like I said before, you're not walking away from this, not walking away, not walking away. So go ahead and run this. You can hear my crappy fan in there. It usually shuts off after a little bit, but see it, it, it didn't go into like retard mode where it uh, didn't want to, you know, charge the battery or anything. Now here it is. And it's a, uh, it's going to go ahead and bring my voltage up and in about five minutes I'll go ahead and pull this off in about five minutes and then I'll check it it'll be up it'll be up to acceptable voltage and then you go ahead and plug it back in normally and charge it normally and you should have been able to save your battery there so that's how to save one of those things